hear that or see it. Platter of wings going right here on the grill. This is a place I used to ride a long, long time ago. Right there. <laughs> All right, welcome back, party people. This week we're going to explore the Croatan. National Forest. Our plan is to explore the southern portion to see if there's a suitable van camping site for our van camper and wake up in the morning and drive north toward the Black Swamp OHV area and explore some of the lakes. And then we're going to head around and make a big loop. We'll head out toward Moorhead City and Fort Macon and then drive up to the north part of the Croatan National Forest and explore some of the sites in the north. So let's get to it. All right, so we're just coming off of Highway 58 heading east, turning right entering the Croatan National Forest and uh, you can see the condition of the road here. The first thing that you're going to encounter is the Weetok Trail which is an out and back around 15 miles. This road is known as Long Point Road or if you look on the forest map is also Forest Road 120. So we'll speed the footage up here and you can see the condition of the improved roads. Most of it's pretty good. You can see there's some rock base that's down and I'll slow it down when we get to the interesting points. One thing you have to watch out for are the small potholes. They tend to be sh have sh deeper and sharper edges. Uh, so you could potentially bottom out if you didn't have enough clearance. The larger holes uh, typically are not a problem unless there's no rock bottom. Uh, they can be quite muddy. So you can see here we encounter our first two large. Um, I just kept one wheel over to the left um, to, to get some traction through that hole, but it wasn't bad at all. You can see over to the left, there's uh, some folks there um, hiking on the trails as well. And uh, continue down the road here. And you can see in this area here, it, it, gets, it gets quite riddled with potholes. Um, but I must say, if you take your time, uh, the, the bottom of these are rocky, as I said before, so not bad at all. Uh, just try to dodge them as much as possible. Stay away from the far left and the far right of the road. Obviously, that there's no rock layer there, and it is super muddy on both sides. And we'll continue heading down Long Point Road. And you can see here, this is uh, almost to the Long Point boat launch. Um, we had quite a quite an interesting crossing there. I was debating on whether to put my wheels into the soft stuff or just go through the middle. Um, coming back through, I actually went through the middle. It's not as bad as you think it is. It's probably softer on the side there where I uh, attempted to go through on my first time. So just take that with a grain of salt. Uh, it's not as bad as it looks. Just you're probably going to need a little bit of clearance and keep your momentum going. So here we enter to the Long Point boat launch and we're just looking at uh, some of these uh, camping spots for pull-offs for our van and you can see there's, there's about three or four spots there that would be good. We saw one to the right that was really interesting, had a fire pit and it seemed to be pretty level. That river in front is the White Oak River and it has a fire pit just there alongside of it. So now we are going back down Long Point Road and we're going to go back and explore the other site. Perhaps it has a better camping. So this road is uh, called Haywood Landing Road and uh, it was not as bad as Long Point Road. It's also known as Forest Road 146 on the uh, forest map. But we wanted to check out Haywood Landing as well, just to see if the sites there for camping were uh, a good alternative in case Long Point uh, was uh, filled when we came back. So you can see the road here, it's pretty, pretty good shape. That road to the right there is the loopy road and basically it'll take you back out to uh, Forest Road 120 uh, just near the, uh, the Highway 58. Um, but this is Haywood Landing and it's basically a parking lot. It's more of a boat la launch than anything. Uh, more of a larger boat launch where Long Point is more of a small boat and uh, kayak kind of launch point. 
so we didn't really see great sights here with you know the tables and a place to hold your lantern and uh, fire pits but um, it would be an alternative to park there if Long Point did fill up by the time we got back. So this gives you an idea about Haywood Landing. Uh, lots of parking space there but not as good for uh, van camping for us. They do have bathrooms and the bathrooms are open. They're basically vault toilets. All right, at this point, we decide that Long Point is a better spot for van camping for us. So we'll speed the footage up and we'll see you there. All right, welcome back party people on another adventure today. We uh, probably saw the drive in, but uh, we're in Croatan National Forest, Croatan National Forest, and there's water pretty much everywhere. But we came down earlier to uh, scope out the road coming in because it's been known to have a lot of potholes and some mud areas and I'm sure you saw that G Money had me on video trying to go through there so it ended up working out okay and we got just a little pull-in spot with the van here but we were going to get this spot over here but by the time we went to Emerald Isle and came back somebody's already got it so that's the spot with the fire ring we're going to get prepared and go down there and uh, collect a little bit of firewood so pick you up there Here's G-Money bringing some wood and uh, we just, there's a little bit left out here but we claim this little fire ring here we got neighbors over there that's a nice little launch here for like a kayak or whatever as usual I mean there's just trash everywhere but that's to be expected and yeah, most of this stuff is caused by the locals too Look at the sunset. Look at the sunset. We got some Spanish moss hanging from the tree. Spanish moss. I had to put on my uh, kicking boots. All right, we're on the firewood hunt. We've got a big tree down there, but I don't think we can split it. And there was a ton of wood down the road. But sometimes it's nice to have. I've got to definitely have a handsaw, but I think I brought it with me. I might have need a hatchet. Yeah, so I got a handsaw. This is the secret weapon. Electric chainsaw. Hope I got some battery. Yeah. Let me go chop this log down real quick. We got a little bit. We can use this. Look at the RNG. I don't know if you can hear that or see it, but there's a little blinking light in the background there. Or in the front of the camera. This is uh, if you uh, boondock in the Croatan. That's something you'll have to get used to. They don't fly too late at night, but you're in between uh, Marine Air Station at Cherry Point and then uh, Camp Lejeune in Jacksonville, so there's a lot of military traffic. And while there's tons of wood down there, there's not a lot up here. And uh, my electric chainsaw battery died. I can keep on it. So uh, we're we're really scrapping it. Right, G Money? Well, we've got a half resemblance of a fire going here now. I got my feet up on the, the ring here. And some nice toasty toes. Right, babe? Yeah. Yeah. All right, we got some hot coals. That's for sure. My freaking legs are hot now, too. Ow! Rubber boots. And boys and girls, 
Give me a little bit more light, baby. We got a platter of wings going right here on the grill. And uh, we got some sweet baby rays wing sauce. Hot yeah. wing sauce we're gonna put on them. So and then we also have some cold cuts. We have some salami and cheese and pita chips, right? Yeah. So we're gonna have some dinner. But well, we finally got this bad baby going. And we got a ton of coals down there. We even got so many they falling outside of the fire ring. But uh, these chicken wings are good. They're just warming those bad babies up. Checking back in, we just had some chicken wings and some salami cheese cold cuts. And uh, we've got a little got a little foot warmer going on down here. Yeah, we're watching Super Yeah, yeah, this is such a bummer for Tommy. Got it going on. All right, good morning, party people. We got some breakfast going. Today we're gonna have little eggs and sausage bagel. We got some hot chili peppers. So we've had some coffee, or at least I've had some coffee. And uh, we're gonna eat some breakfast. And then we're gonna go explore. We're gonna explore. We got Mr. Mustache coffee. And uh, we're gonna go explore some of the other roads in the Croatan National Forest. And then we'll probably take a drive and uh, go out to the uh, point uh, at, uh, uh, what was I talking Emerald about? Isle. Fort, yeah, so we'll drive up Emerald Isle to Atlantic Beach to Fort Macon and maybe hike around Fort Macon a little bit. That way, g -Money can see the ocean in the winter. Hopefully this will give you an idea about how passable the roads are. This is probably the worst you'll ever see these roads because it has, well, it's been raining it pretty much rained the entire month of January and February and a good portion of December too so I will say that the roads have gravel on them and they're pretty good other than some potholes you can see there's a minivan back here um, as long as you got a little bit of clearance and um, you probably don't even need all-terrain tires just keep your momentum going and obviously the guy's pulling the travel trailer back here but he had a four-wheel drive uh, Chevy truck van had no problem there's a couple of big lakes and then there's an ohv area and then i don't know if we'll go to cedar point or not but we'll, we'll try to check out most of the roads back here in croatan all right we'll pick you up in a few one thing you'll notice is a lot of logging in the croatan national forest at one point in the early 1900s the forest had almost been decimated so there's a lot of reforestation projects so at this point, we left uh, Long Point and we're headed out to explore for the day. So we went back down 58 just a little and then turned right on the Forest Road 203, which is also known as Holston Creek Road. And then we made our way up Black Swamp Road, otherwise known as Forest Road 152, headed toward the Black Swamp OHV system. And you can see here as we're driving, it's just a game of dodge with all the potholes in the road. But the road was in fairly good condition. So this is a place I used to ride a long, long time ago when I was uh, growing up. And then I came back in like 98, 99 and rode few times so you need a, a, a permit to ride in any of the national forest OHV areas I'm just gonna go look at the trail system map but it's winter time and uh, they usually close up a little bit to uh, do some maintenance and stuff so I'm gonna walk down to the kiosk there's where you get your permits at. And uh, there's the map there. So we're at the Black Swamp. So we're gonna head over to Catfish Lake, take a look at that, and then we'll go back down and go to Great Lake and Long Lake. I don't know if you can have UTVs back here or not. They show motorcycles and ATVs, but I don't know. So here's part of the trail system here and uh, you can see the gate up there but 
it's not going to be anything like in the mountains a lot of mountain climbing just some flat terrain out here probably hasn't changed much since the last time i was out here all right and so we pull out from the black swamp ohv area and uh, immediately hit a big mud hole there but uh, not bad at all so here we come to the intersection and we're going to take a right here this is called catfish lake road otherwise known as forest road 1100 and uh, we're going to make our way to catfish lake and like i said this road is appropriately named catfish lake road uh, and it goes a long way through Croatan National Forest all the way out to Highway 70 if you follow it and therefore this road is in the best shape of all the roads you can see the speed that I was able to achieve here without getting bounced around now that condition stopped when we turned up this road to go visit Catfish Lake it was a very uh, high stakes game of dodge the potholes here on this road. Nothing too awfully bad, but it was certainly uh, take some time to actually navigate through here. And you can see I've got the van all over the place trying to dodge those potholes. Uh, and it's not like breaking bumps. You can't speed up. These, uh, these potholes are deep. And uh, the last thing you want to do is go plowing through them. So. However, I will say that with a maneuverable car with some clearance or even any two-wheel drive vehicle, you should be able to get back to Catfish Lake fairly easily. Just poured up at Catfish Lake, Croatan National Forest. It's a little rough out there. I guess this is the uh <laughs> I know that water goes across. This is Catfish Lake in the Croatan National Forest. And, uh, well, you know, people don't believe that lakes have waves. This is a small lake, and you can see how rough it is here. And uh, you can imagine what it's like in the Great Lakes. I don't think I could stand fishing today. It's so cold and windy. <laughs> I think the, the catfish is going to have to stay in the lake just a little bit longer. Somebody right there in the car. All right, so we just talked to the guy that was actually mowing the side of the uh, the road. I think he's with the forestry service or whatever, or contracted at least. And there was a uh, road close sign. Road close sign to the Great Lake. So, and that's the only way I know how to get to the Great Lake from this area. And I asked him, and he said, "Yeah, it's the only road." He says it's a big huge mud hole down there and plus they had a big uh, road close sign across it so I guess we won't be getting to the Great Lake this trip right. but uh, yeah the roads are pretty there's a lot of potholes down here pretty and, bad. When, and when he said mud hole I'm taking it it's probably not like these types of holes here this is like rocky road which the bottoms are pretty uh, pretty solid I think this is pretty much all we can get to on the south side of the Croatan at least what you think we think yeah <laughs> all right at this point we decided to make our way over to Atlantic Beach so here we're crossing the Atlantic Beach bridge and we're headed to Fort Macon all right we just uh we just pulled up at Fort Macon. Let me take my mask off. We just pulled up at Fort Macon. That's actually quite a few people out here. It's cold and windy. We're gonna walk out to the beach first. Nature That's Trail. current 
I mean the currents are rough out here. This is a day this is a dangerous place for a boat too. You can get in trouble out here real quick, but you can tell how fast that current's running through there. I mean it is getting it. And then you got a cross current coming through this way. <laughs> I want a uh, clean one. I bought all there. I left up there. Oh, it did break. See? Yeah. Oh, the British one. Oh. Yeah, all sizes. Hey, man. Show me the don't come on dance. guitar that's a good riff uh fishing line recycling put your uh monofilament fishing line in there i don't think you can do braided there's a look from it from the top for maker i'm sure a lot of people have seen this before 30 pounder rifle can you imagine that thing barreling down at you Yeah. Those roller cannons. How did it put the head in? It was you the president? It was at one time. I mean, looks like they've kind of raised it up a little bit, but they got more cannons up there than they've ever had. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bowling ball. <laughs> Bowling ball, bro. Yeah. Bowling ball of pain. So look out. You can connect every room to every room. Wow. If you use a jail, it's nice a jail. <laughs> what? I don't know about that. If it switches and blows back the other way, I'm going to be in trouble. I'll just blow me right off the other side. Ah! All right. Of all days I don't have my dash cam, we hit a freaking turkey vulture. He flew out in front. There's some blood right there. Wow. So now we're driving down on the north side of the Croatan National Forest. And this is the Pine Cliff Recreational Area. Looks like the road's closed. Yeah, if you don't mind. All right, it looks like the Pine Cliff area is closed. But I guess they said that the equestrian trail is open. Right here. So there's a couple of trailheads here, but one of them is for the Nusiak Trail. I don't know why they're closed. Might be flooded, I don't know. Those still from the hurricane. That's where Pine Cliff is down
back side of the Fisher's Landing, Croatan National Forest. So just imagine um, we're on the north side of the forest now. If you cross the road over there and go south, you'll go right back to where we came from earlier, around that Catfish Lake area. So it's just one big forest sandwiched in between uh, Jacksonville and Havilar, pretty much. That's about it for this trip, ain't it, babe? Yeah. Not too bad. We everything check it out. Yeah, we checked out a bunch of boondocking spots. Like and uh, only two working. Yeah, we found two or three spots, but uh, it's like everything on the north side still shut down. So what happened for the rating? Yeah, I think the hurricane damage down there probably because it's on the river. But I don't know. Anyhow, we're gonna call this one a video, right? Until next time, skill up and ride, van up and go, babe. Everybody need the plan B. That's it. Cha-cha for now.